Hey everyone, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in to what's going to be a video about duochromes, all about duochromes, my favorite duochromes out there, whether it's a pigment, a pressed powder, or a gel hybrid liner type thing. We'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, this was kind of, in I think it's inspired by one of you guys. I could have sworn a few videos back, one of you said, you should do a video about your favorite duochromes. But after going through the comments of my most recent videos, I could not find it. So if that was you, I'm so sorry I can't credit you here, but just know that seed planted in my head and I just, I had to get it done. So these are all my favorites lately. Let's go ahead and dive in. Starting first with the duochrome that I feel like everyone thinks of, or at least I certainly think of when they hear the word duochrome because it's one of the first I ever exper or saw experienced and like made me fall in love with the idea of a duochrome shadow and that is blue brown um, I first saw it with max blue brown but a ton of other people it's, it's just a super common duochrome to have I don't know if it's because it's easy to make it's an easy pigment combination to make happen in a pressed powder format but there are so many of these out there one of the most affordable actually comes from wet n wild in the comfort zone palette this one down here in the corner you can see I hope you can see I'll do up close swatches of all of these. I'm gonna do them over a couple of different primers, a white primer, one that's closer to my skin tone, one that's closer to a deeper skin tone, and one that is kind of a gray tone. They are actually these new eye primers that I, I was recently sent by Smashbox. So they're these guys, and I figured it'd be a good way to kind of see how these perform against skin tones of varying shades, but also just a stark white and then a deeper, um, this isn't black despite looking like it on the packaging. It's more of like a deep, it's called smoke. It's like a deep smokier with a hint of a brown undertone in there. And so I thought it would be good and probably the most helpful way to see how these transform over different bases because that's what a duochrome is all about. So that is what you'll see these swatched over, but I digress blue brown is essentially this red brown base with this baby blue or almost turquoise blue shift to it so there's one in the comfort zone palette from wet n wild then there's a very similar one from butter london this is a single called what is it called whoa man down it's okay it's in plume so yeah that's came out safe and sound. And then Makeup Geek also has a similar shadow that I'm gonna talk about later in the video when I go to that whole duochrome collection. But basically that's what I first came to know and love when it came to duochromes. And since then, either they've existed and just like the, the world of YouTube has helped those lesser known brands and products kind of bubble up to the top, but also there have been a ton of new launches as well. So I wanna talk about those next. Let's start with one that's actually been around for a little bit. This is a pure pigment eye dust from the brand Jessie's Girl. These come up every once in a while on the channel, but overall they're super underrated, I feel like, when it comes to people talking about them here on YouTube and blogs and stuff. These are super affordable, but they don't get a lot of airtime for whatever reason, but they're pigments, I love them. And this one in particular is an interesting duochrome because you can see it looks like this white powder in here, but then when you get close up, you can see there's a blue shift. And then as you actually go and use and apply it over different colored bases, it goes from the blue that you can see here to almost a tealy green sort of look. So there's like three different sorts of looks going on here. There's that translucent pearly white shade, then there's the blue, and then there's the greedy teal, and it's just so complex in such a tiny jar, and it's so affordable. So this is definitely a good one to have. Very similar to something like the Kat Von D, that transformative palette. That's probably a good way to segue into this next group of pigments, which is actually a stack. These are from Naked Cosmetics. I've had these for close to when I started YouTube. I got them at my first makeup trade show I ever went to, iMats, where they often or actually every time I think do a two for not two for one but they deeply discount when you buy two stacks at a time so I have a ton of these stacks and one of those happens to be this guy which looks very plain and boring from the outside but believe it or not it's very similar to the Kat Von D Alchemist palette way before it came out and basically this top one is kind of a true pearlescent ivory but every other one of these powders beneath here actually shifts an entirely different color so like this top one it will it will do it would be so funny like you can't even tell what these colors are as I explain them right now but just imagine this white turns like pinky red and then you have yellow and green and purple and blue I mean like all of these just shift in this crazy different way when they're applied over different colored bases and it just makes for such a versatile stack of pigments the other one is actually even more of a surprise I would say because this is the Java stack and up 
you know, at face value, they all look like pretty standard neutral pigments. Um, one of them is a peach with a gold shift, so it's a, another pretty standard duochrome, one that I'm always a sucker for, but the one that I'm about to talk about, it's actually number one. There's no name for it. It's just like Java Stack number one if you were to buy this individually on the website. And it takes me by surprise every time I come across it in this because in the pot, it looks like a taupey brown, but then when you swatch it, there's this purple iridescence or pearlescence to it that just totally takes me by surprise. I have filmed a tutorial. It's just taken forever for me to edit this, but it's one of my favorite one and done eyeshadow shades because it creates such depth and dimension on the lid, but still looks very natural and radiant. And I know that might not sound like the right word for describing a brownie purple, but just trust me, when worn all over the lid, and I'm not doing anything special like foiling it and putting it over a deep base or anything like that, but just when worn over a standard base that matches your skin tone, it's just such a beautiful, natural looking beigey taupe with that hint of interesting purple shift to it. So that's an interesting one there. And as I went to the Naked Cosmetics website to see which color or number that was within this stack, I saw that they were having pretty much maybe even a better deal than what I bought these for. You can get two for 65 or 69, less than $70 um, to get two of these stacks, which might seem steep, but knowing that one of these retails for $60 alone, it's an amazing deal and one that I think I've only ever gotten at trade shows. So if you're interested in getting these, sometimes they have them on special on Ipsy. If you're a part of Ipsy, you can take advantage of that, but it's really only select stacks and this one you can get any any combination of stacks you want for you know less than 70 bucks so highly recommend you do that if you have had your eye on these because that is an amazing deal and it's probably been going on there for a while it's just the first time i've been on the naked cosmetics website in a really long time next is going to be a quickie because i talked about it so recently and this is kind of what jump started my recent duochrome obsession not that it's always not there just like simmering under the surface but this really reignited it and it's the uh, sigma loose shimmer in the shade zeal like i said talked about this in the YouTube Maybe Buy It tag recently, which I will link either you can click the I up here or the description box below. But Sam Sherman made me buy this. She didn't make me buy it, but like she was wearing it and I had to have it. So I bought it and this is a really interesting one because it is another one of those almost tri-chrome shadows where it looks mauve as a base. And then as you turn and tilt your head or wherever it is you're wearing it, it shifts teal and then also this beautiful lilac purple. So it's another one really, really interesting and you just get so so much good out of it and yet I do want to say it is very date I've worn it during the daytime and to work so it can be worn very soft across the lid but still create a lot of interest to a look or really you know applied over a dark base or foiled and just really amped up to create something super new and different in fact one of you guys recommended putting this over a lip she said she's seen another youtuber wear it over a lip product which I thought oh yes that's the next time i'm wearing this but um yeah so just another really interesting multi-color powder these are some others that i feel like i don't need to go too in depth about because these were also in the youtube made me buy it tag but these are the stroboscope or moonplay cosmetics stroboscope orb powders and not all of these are duochromatic i don't think but these here in my hands are they are lady goldfish uh which is a peachy greeny gold actually so another almost tri trichrome there then there is dolly sands and in case you were curious and you haven't seen that this is why i bought all of these is because i saw julie g wear this in a makeup tutorial and it's this beautiful kind of a mauvey brown uh base and then there is like a turquoisey blue shift similar to a blue brown but i find that the base is less red leaning and more mauve leaning and then there is nyc vamp which is a pink uh pink shimmery or iridescent base with a cool purpley blue shift. This one is a lot more subtle than these two, but it's still definitely something, I would consider this a duochrome because I applied this to my cheeks for a highlight once and th in thinking that it was like a beautiful soft baby pink like Vow is that I talked about in the YouTube Maybe Buy It tag. Mm, unless you're planning on having a little bit of a purple something or other on your cheek, I would not go in with this because I definitely, um, definitely didn't expect it. Next up are some pressed powders from NYX. Probably no surprise that I include these in here because they actually have duochromatic in the name. I have three, but there are, I think, quite a few more shades in this collection, but these are the three I was most interested in. I have Twilight Tint, which is kind of an indigo shift. 
Then I have Lavender Steel, which is a really interesting gray, um, grayy sort of base with that lavender, almost pinky shift to it. And then this one, Snow Rose, I am wearing on my cheeks as a highlight today. I wanted to do this because I feel like some of these, especially when I first got them, honestly, I thought some of these were not as approachable as I'd hoped. Um, but this one, Snow Rose, like I said, I'm wearing it on my cheekbones today. And I do feel like it is, it has kind of a more electric pinky twist than, you know, it's not totally natural pink flush as a highlight, uh, but it's still very wearable, I think. And these are definitely on the more affordable side, so a great option if you are on a budget. Nearing the end here, folks, I promise uh, the next cluster of products actually is an entire collection of duochromes from Makeup Geek. Um, these, I wish I could isolate these, but this is a big old palette that they are now in, and it's these down here in the corner. Um, Marlena came up with an entire collection of duochromes, two of which I'm actually wearing on my eyes right now. What I have all over my lid is the shade called Ritzy, and there, it's kind of like, has a golden there you can kind of see it it has like this brown gold undertone and then this green shift I'm wearing it over that smoke shade from Smashbox that's my base so I get a little bit more of that green over the darker base as you can see and then on the inner corner I'm wearing this I'm peachless which is kind of a, a frosty champagne base with then a peach shift and that really pops on my inner corner you can see there's really less of that champagne base and more of that peach coming through on my inner corner. Then the only other shade I'm wearing is like a matte peach. In fact, I think it's peach smoothie for Makeup Geek in my crease. And that's all. Although I swear, I think it'd look like I'm wearing like five different shadows on my eyes just because these are so multi, I mean, duochromes, triple chromes in general are so multi-dimensional that that's one of the benefits in wearing them is that you get this multifaceted effect with just one to two shadows. And last, we're deviating from the powder format and go into some straight up gel glitter. These are the Urban Decay Liquid moon dust eyeshadows and there is quite a collection of these but none uh, most of them have a similar glitter as they do the gel base or sometimes it's an opaque base not with these so first up I have recharged which is a peach base with a gold shift but it also has like hints of flamey orange I don't know it's an it's an extra or like copper maybe that's it it's just it's an extra complex shade shift here it goes above and beyond the oh, Oh my goodness. Yeah, it just goes above and beyond the, the typical peachy gold shift um, and just takes it up there a notch. I really hope you can see that. Like I said, you'll see close-ups through, hopefully you've seen close-ups throughout this whole video, but oh, just these are some of my favorites and they are great. They have nice precise brushes if you want to use them as liners or you can um, go in and like put them all over your lid, use a brush or your finger to pat them and, and spread them out and help them blend. And then there is Solstice, which has this rusty base and then Fleck of teal lilac a tealy lilac kind of shift. It's very reminiscent. Um, it's the one right here. It's very reminiscent of blue brown to me, but definitely has stronger kind of grayy, purpley tones in the shift against that warmer red undertone. Again, very beautiful. And in general, this formula is a good one. I don't talk about it a whole lot here on the channel because I am typically doing more day to day or daytime appropriate makeup. But when you're talking about duochromes, they absolutely can, as I have said, a couple times during the video they can be totally daytime wearable but they're also amazing for just taking your nighttime or playtime look up a notch because look at how fun these are and the formula on these is a good one too i do find like once they dry if i rub my finger across them the the glitter does transform off of like it will transfer onto my fingers but it doesn't flake which is something an issue that i've had with some other new glittery product launches from other brands recently it does not flake i don't have fallout the only way i notice it transferring when i don't want it to is if i'm rubbing my eye or something brushes against my eye and then i will see a little bit of transfer so it's not totally transfer proof but at the same time those kind of gel products that dry down to be totally non-transfer proof I find either crack or flake or just look unflattering and kind of crepey across the eyes so I am pretty impressed with how these look and wear throughout the day that is finally it for me those are all of the duochromes that I love I hope you were able to find something for you and all these I wanted to share as many as possible just because I know some people hear duochrome and either their ears perk up and they're excited they just want to catch them all or they think oh you know I know they're they can be a little bit extreme a little too more color than I'm interested in adding to my daily routine, but hopefully there's
there's a little bit of something for everyone here. I hope you found it. I'd love to hear if I left any out. Absolutely, let me know that in the comment section below. Besides that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.